And as to whether to get a rear fang venomous or a snake that's non-venomous, that's like the one that you want to get for your first venomous, my feeling honestly is that you're going to know, you know, you're going to know it's just not real. You can convince yourself as best you want, but in your heart of hearts, you're going to know that's not a venomous snake. So when it comes to holding it, you might take certain liberties that you otherwise wouldn't take. You know, my feelings, you start with like a Cape Coral Cobra. They're a good first snake, front fanged, but they're not going to kill you. And they're your lapids or an Golden Coral Cobra. Pretty much the same thing. It's a bit less lubricous. And, you know, they're cute. They do funny things. They're clumsy in some ways. You know, you get some laughs out of them. But they still hood up and, you know, they're venomous and they're little, you know, itty bitty tiny, tiny guys. So that would be one way of going about it. I wouldn't go the non-venomous or rear fanged way because it's not real and you will know it. So it's a question of taking the plunge, but choosing the right snake. All right.